ingenious supplies. Flash in swift reconfiguration onto my devoted druid. Make infinite mana. Good game. This might be what you hear when the game ends, but what's actually going on behind the scenes? Welcome back to Better Know a Combo, brought to you by the Spike Feeders and Gamegenic. This combo uses a card from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty's Buckle Up deck. You'll be able to pick it up at your LGS on February 18th, 2022. Swift Reconfiguration is an enchantment aura for a single white mana. It's got flash and reads, Enchant creature or vehicle. Enchanted Permanent is a vehicle artifact with crew five and it loses all other card types. If I've got Devoted Druid in play, I can swiftly reconfigure it to turn it into a non-creature artifact. As long as I avoid crewing it, I can activate the Druid's second ability as many times as I want. This is because uncrewed vehicles don't actually have a power and toughness. So the minus one minus one counters can pile up without the Druid dying due to having zero toughness. Not only that, but turning a creature into a non-creature artifact even sidesteps summoning sickness. Normally I wouldn't be able to tap the Druid to add mana the turn it comes into play, but non-creature artifacts aren't bound by that rule. This sounds awesome, but how can people interact? Let's take a look at the combo and talk about the ways people can interact at the times you receive priority. I'll start by casting Swift Reconfiguration, targeting Devoted Druid. At this point, you can either counter the aura or remove the Druid so it doesn't have a valid target on resolution. Once it's in play, I'll activate the Druid's first ability, adding a green mana. This doesn't use the stack, so I'll get priority back immediately and activate the Druid's second ability. I'll put a minus one minus one counter on the Druid to put its untap ability on the stack. At this point, you might think you could remove either piece, but unless your removal has split second, I'll be able to activate the Druid's second ability again in response to continue the combo with your removal spell still on the stack. The same goes for counter magic that counters activated abilities. Stifle and Tail's End, no good here. Trick Bind will work. Once the untap ability resolves, I've reset my board state. I've also got a green mana floating, and I'm ready to repeat this process to my heart's content. But what if you're not playing reactive spells like that? How can we shut them down? This combo requires its controller to activate an ability of an artifact. You can shut it down with a collector roof, a null rod, or a stony silence. Dismiss into Dream is an interesting piece of tech to prevent this combo. It'll turn the devoted druid into an illusion and cause its controller to sacrifice it if it's ever targeted by an aura like Swift Configuration. If you really want to shut things down before they ever start, consider something like an Elishnorn. The static minus two minus two ability will cause the devoted druid to die to state-based effects before it can be enchanted with Swift Configuration. That just about does it for this episode of Better Know a Combo. If you have a combo you want to see explained, make sure you let us know in the comments below, and we'll catch you next time. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window, or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.